Hey guys, it's Ink here. Um, I wanted to make a quick video because I haven't made a video in quite some time. So I wanted to do today the YouTube survey of 2003 because I got a, quite a few new subscribers since my last video and I figured it would be really fun. Not that I got tagged or anything because I'm not cool enough to get tagged. We can do that. And I'm sorry about my appearance. I just came in from the rain, like quite literally. It is pouring ass rain out there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but yeah, that's why I have the awful lighting because it's dark as dicks outside and that's why I look like shit with my hair all poof. Let's get started. First question. What is your biggest fear? Needles. Like, I know I have tattoos like on the back of my neck, on my side, on my feet, on my wrists, um, and I got piercings all up in my ears and in my stomach and in my nose, and those are different kinds of needles, okay? Those are different needles that I can handle. I can handle the the tattoo needle that just goes a little bit under your skin, not all the way under your skin, and goes zzz, And I can take the needle going all the way through a body part, especially if I can't see it. <laughs> That's fine. I can do that. What I can't stand is when a needle is going into muscle and or a vein and stays there and injects something into your body and that could be anything it doesn't have to be what the doctor says it is you know I'm just like oh. I hate needles I hate needles when I was younger I got really sick and I was really dehydrated so they had to put an IV in me the guy missed like four times he was all like oh you got really defined veins this will be easy no no, it wasn't easy. It was like, he ja he stabbed me like four or five times and I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Stop. Um, yeah, no, no needles for me. Question two. <laughs> how did you find out Santa wasn't real? I can't remember how old I was. It was kind of funny, actually. My mom had to stay up really late Christmas Eve and like parents do, they're all like, oh, go to bed or else Santa won't get your presents. So I went to bed, I woke up, and Jessica, my older sister, got me and she's like, Emily, Emily, you have to see something. She dragged me downstairs and she showed me that there were Grinch gummies in our stocking. I was like, oh, okay, so what? And then she showed me that there were also Grinch gummies in the pantry, still. And I was like, okay, well, maybe you just left them there. And then she showed me the trash can, what was in the trash can. And there were the cookies that we left out for Santa in the trash can because my mom my dad wasn't there and my mom was on a diet or something so she didn't eat them she just threw them away and um and she's like i don't think santa's real and we kind of figured that out together and i was like yeah probably not <laughs> i don't think he'd do that if he's a jolly guy i mean i don't think my cookies suck that much i was a kid but i worked hard on those mother freaking cookies and they were delicious god damn it so if it were really santa and he didn't care about his weight then god damn it he would have eaten my cookies numero tres what was the best idea you've ever had that is a very big question starting a youtube channel i don't know i really don't number four i did my nails like don't don't look at the the middle one because it's chipping away and just even matter but i did um or the thumb but i did yeah in this hand Moral instruments, because that movie's awesome. <laughs> okay. Most embarrassing thing your parents have ever done? Mm. Well, most of the time my parents try not to embarrass me. Honestly, they don't. They try not to, at least my mom does. And my dad's pretty embarrassing sometimes, but that's just him being him. I honestly can't think of a time that my parents tried to embarrass, or they did embarrass me. I don't know, it was probably something stupid, like my dad um, doing something, because he's always, going out and being like, hey, look what I can do. That's a really, I'm sorry for the boring answer, but my parents honestly have never really done anything to embarrass me. They try not to. So I'm pretty grateful for them about that. Five. Five. If you were only allowed to pick up one career for the rest of your life, what would it be? This is easy. And people who watch me should know this. Hands down, a full-time writer. Hands down, like my dream life would be to live in a hobbit hole, have a big ass library filled with books and music, and um, 
have a place where I can play music and have a place where I can just shout out everybody in the world and just write whatever the hell I want to write. And I'd sit at a typewriter, like not a computer, not a notepad, but a typewriter and just write and just like that is my dream life and that is why I'm going to college and getting my creative writing and music major all done and getting this shit going for my dream career because it's like that'd be so cool I think. And I would really like to start making videos for my writing because I really enjoy making videos so much and I feel like if I could make like a poem or a prose or something and turn it kind of into a film where it's like just like art you know I feel like that would be perfect because I do enjoy making videos so much and I was thinking about starting doing that this summer but I don't know how you guys would have reacted to that but then again it is a whatever a hell I want channel so um maybe I will do it maybe I won't so that's it that was kind of painless kind of sort of Exactly, guys.